Bulk density, particle density, and porosity have a relationship together. And it's very important that we understand this relationship and we can get either one of these three values when we know the other two values. If you only know either bulk density or porosity, you can always assume that particle density in soils is going to be 2.65 grams per cubic centimeter. This is actually the value of the bulk density of quartz, which is sand. Porosity, represented by a P here, equals 1 minus bulk density over particle. Particle density. So this is in grams per cubic centimeter. And par particle density is also in grams per cubic centimeter. These values cancel out and leave us with just a number. And this is actually a percentage number. So from our previous example, we are going to assume our bulk density is 1.53 and our particle density is 2.65. When we calculate those values out, 1.53 divided by 2.65 is equal to 0 0.58. And 1 minus 0 0.58 leaves us with a porosity value of 0 0.42. So when we look at this entire column of soil, 42% of this column is actually made up of pore space, and the other 58% of the soil column is solid. This will come in handy later when we're trying to calculate relationships involving water or nitrogen movement or any of these kinds of things.